Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we also have our Windows 11 Patch Tuesday security update rolling out for Windows 11 22H2 and version 23H2, which was also made available by Microsoft on the 12th of March, which was late yesterday in my region. Now for this month, the update is KB5035853. And the update will be downloaded and installed automatically onto your device. And there's quite a lot going on this month with this latest Patch Tuesday update. Now, first of all, um, it does address security issues in the Windows 11 operating system, as many of you may know. And just a brief overview, uh, very similar to what was going on with Windows 10, but um, this fixes 39 vulnerabilities. Windows 10 fixed 36, but it also addresses the same two critical vulnerabilities that were patched in Windows 10 which is Windows Hyper-V Remote Code Execution Vulnerability and Windows Hyper-V Denial of Service Vulnerability and critical vulnerabilities are your highest ranked. So this uh, is an important security update rolling out for Windows 11. Uh, 39 vulnerabilities in total to critical. Now, what the update will also do, like all the Patch Tuesday updates will do, is this security update will include all the improvements that were part of this update. That rolled out near the end of February, beginning of March, depending on your region, KB5034848. And this was the optional C release update for um, February. And I posted a video on this, and I'll leave that in the end screen of this video because it'll give you a lot more info. But um, just, a, just a quick recap for the purpose of this video it will include um, the renaming of the phone link settings page to mobile devices. You can now also use the stepping tool on your PC to edit the most recent photos and screenshots from your Android device. It adds support for the USB 80 gigabytes per second standard if your device supports um, that USB 4 standard. It affects games you install on a secondary drive. It addresses an issue that affects the Windows settings homepage and it affects the Windows backup app and includes plenty more bug fixes. But go check that video out in the end screen of this video if you want some more info, if you didn't install this update, which will now be included for this month, March, in the Patch Tuesday security update. Now, something else to take note of. Um, there's quite an important fix that's also been rolled out with KB5035853. And this fix addresses a known issue that I did post on um, previously, which that video will also be in the end screen of this video if you want some more info. But the update addresses a known issue that might affect the February 2024 security and preview updates. So that would be this update, KB5034765 and KB5034848. And what was happening is those updates were not installing and your device might stop responding at 96%. And the error code is 0x800F0922. And this error message is saying, and I'm quoting, something did not go as planned. No need to worry. Undoing changes. Please keep your computer on. So if you did experience that issue where those updates were failing to install, um, then this update, KB5035853, according to Microsoft, will address that known issue. So I think this is a very important fix that is rolled out because any known issue that gets addressed, especially this one, which was causing a lot of headache for a lot of users, has now been patched. Now, something else to take note of, um, over and above everything else we've discussed. This is quite, there's quite a lot going on with this update because if you do have this toggle turned on, Get the latest updates as soon as they're available. If you didn't get all or some of the Moment 5 feature update that started rolling out near the end of February last month with this update, KB5034848, if you didn't get that update and you have this turned on now, if we head to our advanced options, sorry, if we head back to our update history, you will now see This configuration update, which brings the Moment 5 feature update, KB5035349. So to get this update, you have to have that toggle turned on. So if you get this update, what this will include will be the fifth wave of new features that are rolling out, also known as Moment 5. Now, I've posted a whole in-depth video on this. 
So if you want to know what's going on with Moment 5, once again, that video will be in the end screen of this video. And what it does is it brings improvements to the widgets board. You can finally turn off the news feed in the widgets board. It brings new features and improvements to voice access, narrator, window share, nearby share, casting, and snap layouts. So go check that video out if you want more info in the end screen of this video. So as mentioned this month, a lot going on with our March B release patch Tuesday security update. Now, once this update has been installed, just to have a look at the um, bold number upgrades, if we head over to Winver, just doing a search for that uh, in our taskbar search, this will open up the About Windows menu and dialog. So Windows 11 version 23H2, the OS bold will be bumped up to 22631. 0.3296 and if you are running 22H2 as you may well know that point release will be 22621.3296 so that's what's new for this update for March the latest patch Tuesday B release update for Windows 11 so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one